Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to do a chi-squared test for goodness of fit using Minitab Express. And we're going to do two different examples. Um, the first is a case where we have some observed frequencies for the uh, numbers showing on 60 rolls of a die. And we expect this to be a fair die so that you would expect the outcomes to be about equally distributed. In other words, the probabilities of all the different outcomes are the same. And we're seeing if the observed frequencies over here fit that assumed probability distribution. And in the second case, we're no longer assuming that all the probabilities are the same, but that they all come from some prior um, assumed distribution of probabilities. So we have these eight different blood types at, a, I believe it's a regional uh, blood bank, and the distribution of 800 blood donors looks like this middle column, and we're wondering if that fits the distribution described by these probabilities from the national averages. Right? Um, both goodness of fit tests. One, we're testing to see if the outcomes are evenly distributed, and the other, we're testing to see if they fit a preconceived distribution. All right, so we'll get rid of this. We'll bring up the um, bring up mini tabs. We have mini tab here on our right, and Excel. This is just for the data. So here's our um, 60 rolls of a die. The O sub I represent the outcomes, the observed outcomes, right there. That's the frequencies. These are the actual outcomes. That's the number showing on the die. So I want to bring this into Minitab Express. It's very easy. You just copy and paste it on over. And there you have it. OK, and if you start off on the Home tab, you're going to go over to Statistics. This is a chi-squared. It's the button on the far right. And it is a goodness of fit test. Um, so then we to our, our dialog box opens up here and it asks us categorical data in a column that is not true what we have is summarized data we have the frequencies in in a column and so the oi those were our observed counts so we'll put that in this first box and then the category names which is optional but I'm going to keep here is um, what we call the outcome numbers 1 through 6 so I put that in there and the test is for equal proportions I have some other op options here but this one I'm testing for equal proportions and when you click OK um, these chi-square tests take a little bit longer than the other ones there's the table used to um, calculate the chi-squared st test statistic and when you come here you get your n degrees of freedom chi-square there's the test statistic 6.40 and the p-value is 0.2692. Now, regardless of our um, significance level, that's certainly going to be bigger. And so we'll fail to reject the null hypothesis that the um, frequencies are ev evenly distributed. All right? So we don't have enough data to believe that this die is um, not fair. Right? It also gives you some nice um, comparisons between the observed and the expected frequencies. And so you can sort of see how bad is the fit. And when you look at these two graphs, they, they don't seem that bad, right? The observed is in blue, and the expected, they're all the same, is in gold. So you can sort of see you're low, a little low on the left, a little high in the middle there, and a little low again. But it's, it's not far off enough to be considered um, indicative of a, of a die that is not fair. Okay, so what about the situation where we don't have a null hypothesis of equal proportions, but one where we have some prior um, distribution that we think they should fit. And so we have that on, it was the your turn number two problem. Here's the data, which is for the blood type. And so I'm going to bring that right into um, Minitab Express over here. So I have the blood type. There's eight different blood types. My observed outcomes and my assumed probabilities based on the sort of national averages. So I'm going to take these three, copy, come on over to um, Minitab Express and paste. Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing, or we start the same way. We're going to hit the chi-squared button, goodness of fit, and again, we don't have the categorical data in column. We actually have the summarized data. The OI, those are our observed frequencies or observed counts. 
blood type, that's our category names. And now in this case, we have to pay attention. We're no longer testing for equal proportions, but for specified proportions, right? And those are the ones over here, the ones that we expected based on the national averages. Now here's the thing that Mini Tab Express does that got me a couple times. It does not order them in the same order in which they're listed in their column. They, Mini Tab Express puts it in alphabetical order, so make sure you're getting these observed or the expected frequencies um, according to the right row. So here, um, A negative is 0 0.06, 0 0.06. A positive is 0 0.340. AB negative is 0 0.01. AB positive is 0 0.03. B negative is 0 0.02. B positive is 0 0.09. O negative is 0 0.07. And O positive is 0.38. So those are the expected proportions. And you have to enter those in by hand. Unfortunately, you can't copy and paste. And remember, when you're entering them in by hand, they won't necessarily appear in the same order as they do um, in the column. But once you, have the, once you have those in there, you're good to go. You click OK. And again, these chi-squared tests take a little bit longer than the other tests in Minitab Express especially when it stops responding, but it picked it back up. We're good to go. Again, it builds the table that is used to calculate the test statistic. Um, and here it is. The test statistic is the chi-squared test statistics, 23.72, which gives it a p-value of 0 0.0013, which um, regardless of our significance level is going to be less than that. So we actually reject the null hypothesis that our frequencies are based on these preconceived uh, probabilities and that they, there is not a fit. The distribution of the outcomes, the observed outcomes, does not fit with what we would expect based on the national averages. All right, so that's it. It's pretty easy. It's just going up to the chi-squared. It's one of the ones that doesn't actually have a, uh, it's not titled, it's actually symbolic. That's it's an X. It's a big X up there, but it's uh, supposed to be a chi, chi-square. Good to go. Bye.